Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all well and having a really great day so far. If you're new here then welcome, I'm Emma and I make beauty and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you my Charlotte Tilbury Cheat to Sheet Blush Collection. I do have all nine shades and I'm also going to be swatching those for you. So grab yourself a drink, get comfy, subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started. Before we get into the shades, I'm just going to give you a very quick overview of the blushes. Um, these retail for £30 or $40 US dollars, and for that you're getting 8 grams of product. They all come in this beautiful burgundy packaging and inside this is how the blushes are laid out. So the outer shade you're supposed to apply to the majority of your cheek and then the centre shade on the apple just to give a pop of colour and that is what Charlotte refers to as the swish and pop. Of course you can do this, you can use the shades separately or like me you can just mix the shades together. This first shade is First Love and it's a really beautiful barely there peach tone blush. I think it looks fantastic on people with fair to light skin tones and if you're the type of person that has been a bit intimidated by these bolder or brighter blushes then this is a great one to take a look at. This is First Love Swatched and you can see that the outer shade is very subtle against my pale skin tone. The second shade here is the peachy pop of colour in the centre and that is a really beautiful peach. I do think that you are able to build this up though when it's on the cheek. Next we have the shade Love Glow and this is a really gorgeous pink tone blush. There doesn't look to be much contrast between the swish and the pop shade in the pan and I do think in real life these shades look quite different to the promo pics on the website but they do swatch quite differently which I'll show you now. This is Love Glow Swatched. The first shade I would describe as a more subtle, warmer tone pink and this second shade here is a brighter, more bubblegum pink. It's definitely going to give you that pop of colour but the finish of these shades is absolutely beautiful. It's going to give a really natural, glowy flush of colour to the cheeks. This one is Pillow Talk and it's part of her best-selling Pillow Talk range. I really love the tone of this blush and all of the Pillow Talk products if I'm honest with you. Um, the only difference with this one is rather than having a pop of colour in the centre, I would describe this as more of a subtle highlight, but it's going to give a really gorgeous flush of colour to the cheeks. This is Pillow Talk Swatched and the first shade is a very beautiful neutral to warm dusty rose. It's a very easy shade to wear every day and this shimmery tone here is just going to give a very subtle glow to the complexion but really beautiful and it's one of my favourites. Next we have the shade Ecstasy and this is one of my very favourite blush shades. I actually mentioned it recently in my top 10 favourite Charlotte Tilbury products video and I'll link that in the description box below just in case you want to check it out. But this is an absolutely stunning peach tone blush. It is a deeper tone than First Love so if you do have a fair to medium skin tone then this is the one that I would recommend for you. Um, but absolutely beautiful, easy to wear, everyday shade. And this is Ecstasy Swatched, so you can see that the first shade is a slightly lighter tone peach and then you have a darker tone to give that pop of colour to the cheek. Absolutely beautiful though, I would definitely take a look at this one. Next we have the shade Love is the Drug and this is a beautiful pink blush. I think of all of the shades in this collection this is the brightest um, and it can look quite intimidating in the pan but actually I think it would suit a variety of different skin tones depending on whether you sheared the shades out or whether you built it up but I think it's a beautiful colour. And this is what it looks like swatched, a beautiful pink tone for the Swiss shade and this gorgeous bright pink for the pop of colour on the apple of the cheek. Next we have the shade Sex on Fire and this is a stunning colour. Um, I know that I keep saying this is stunning, that is gorgeous, but I think the way that the collection has been pulled together, I can see that a lot of thought has gone into the shade selection and it truly is a beautiful collection. There is something for everybody. I think that this one does look quite mauve in the pan, but when it's swatched, I would describe it more as a rose tone pink. It's absolutely beautiful. And this is Sex on Fire swatched. Um, you can see that it doesn't look as dark swatched as it does in the pan. I just think this is a beautiful, everyday wearable shade, and I know that I will get a lot of use out of this in my collection. The last three shades are deeper and richer in tone, so if you have a medium to deep complexion, then these are the shades that I think will complement your complexion the most. 
The first being Pillow Talk Intense. So this is keeping very much in the colour family of Pillow Talk. It's just a lot deeper in tone. Um, but this is going to work well with all of your other Pillow Talk makeup. Um, but I just think it's going to show up on your complexion that bit better than the original Pillow Talk blush. This is Pillow Talk Intense Swatched and you can see that the first shade is a deeper dusty rose. The second shade is more of a highlight so that's going to give the complexion a very flattering candlelit glow. This shade here is called the Climax and I would describe it as a beautiful mocha tone. I think that it's quite similar in colour family to Ecstasy which is this one here um, but a really gorgeous shade. This is the Climax swatch and you can see that it's this beautiful reddy brown. This pop shade in the centre is sort of like a peachy pink highlight and that's just really going to lift the cheeks and bring the face to life. Last but not least is Walk of No Shame and this is a gorgeous berry tone blush. For me this is something that I would reach for more in the winter months but I think for darker skin tones it would look nice all year round. It really is a stunning shade. And this is Walk of No Shame Swatch, so you can see just how gorgeous this shade is. With the darker shades, you can absolutely build them up so they will be suitable for deep to dark skin tones. I think you could also use them if you are light to medium as well. Just apply them with a much lighter hand and shear them out a bit more. Um, but the colour range in this collection is absolutely stunning. As I said, I think there is definitely something for everybody. I also wanted to mention the finish of these blushes as well. They're not glittery at all. There's no big chunks of glitter anywhere. But they definitely give the skin a really youthful, loose luminous finish. That's everything for today's video guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. I am also considering doing a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick collection video and also an eyeshadow quad collection. If that's something you'd be interested in seeing, then please let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, hit the subscribe button because I would love to have you back. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you on my next one.